Welcome back to Pure Science Education. As you know, you watched the last video on element, compound and mixtures. Um, as described in that video, this is a follow-up on separation techniques. In today's video, we will be looking at filtration and evaporation. Um, when do you do filtration? As you can see in the diagram, there is equipment for filtration. So, um, let's decide when we will filter something or evaporate something. So filtration is a technique to separate a solid which does not dissolve in the solution if you were to use scientific words then we can use the word solute for solid and solvent for the liquid so in this diagram as you can see i have got sand and water because sand is not soluble in water, I'm able to do filtration. So, you start off with a filter paper. In order to create the filter paper, you fold it in half, and in quarter, and one eighth. And then you uh, put the filter paper in a funnel. Uh, you will pour your mixture of the sand. The mixture is of... Uh, here is of sand and water. As you pour it through the funnel, uh, what you will see, you get your filtrate. Filtrate will be your water, and the residue here is your sand. So, uh, really important that when you're pouring your um, mixture through the filter paper, you do not poke the filter paper. You have patience, and with gravity, the water will come through eventually, um, leaving the filtrate in. Um, Sorry, leaving the residue in the filter paper as shown in the diagram. So this is a technique used for where the solid is not soluble in the water or the liquid. So what do we do if your solid is um, dissolved or is miscible? So and the other technique that I want to look at today is called evaporation. In this case, you will see I have a mixture and the mixture is made up of salt which is dissolved in water so salt dissolved in water um, and in order to get more salt I can do evaporation now as you know water boils at 100 degrees so that's the boiling point of water So I can heat up my solution till it starts bubbling um, and then once the water has evaporated you should be left with the residue of salt. Now, um, have you ever wonder how your clothes dry in the sun? And, and the answer is, is evaporation. So during the process of which the clothes are drying, the water goes from liquid to gas and it evaporates um, and this liquid changes into the vapor format um, now if if you've been asked um, in an exam there's two techniques very very similar and it's a confusion about them um, one is boiling and one's evaporating you need to be able to distinguish between the two um, and the difference is to do with the temperature so if you're boiling something you need to have a specific temperature uh, above the liquid so for example water was 100 degree but if you were to then evaporate the water it will evaporate um, below the boiling point of 100 degree so that is the difference between the two now what factors affect evaporation so there are four factors that affect evaporation so let's have a look at them so the factors affecting evaporation is temperature 
So obviously the higher the temperature, the faster the rate of evaporation. Wind speed, again if you're drying clothes and it's windy, the clothes will tend to dry faster. Surface area, um, so if you have large clothes, they will hit the temperature, um, will be absorbed faster, uh, speeding up the drying process and the wind that would interact with the larger surface area and humidity so this video has shown you two techniques one was evaporation and one's filtration let's look at the diagram um, just very quickly again so when you are setting up your evaporation you start with your evaporating dish uh, you got a gauze, a tripod, a heat pump mat, and a Bunsen burner. So when you heat things, you got to make sure it's on the roaring blue flame, as shown in the diagram. Um, if you do it in the yellow flame, then you will create a lot of soot on your dish, which is not good for you. Uh, the experiment. Uh, always have a safety shield and goggles when you're doing evaporation. So because you're heating something, you don't want it um, explode it towards you. So be very careful. Again, if you're doing filtration. Um, looking at the equipment is fragile because it's glass. Um, please be careful when you filter in stuff, um, especially uh, with the filter paper is placed in the right, correct position in the funnel um, and is folded correctly, which is common mistake made by the students. Mm -hmm. So these are the two techniques. So if a solution's not soluble in a liquid, you'll do filtration. If a solution is soluble, uh, we will do filtration. Uh, evaporation so evaporation is is used to separate a dissolved solid in a liquid so these were the quick two techniques we're looking at today um, watch out for next video that's coming up to show you how distillation and fractional distillation are used as separation techniques and then finally a video on chromatography. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.